What's up guys, it's Ugly Strew here, and welcome back to my let's play of John Romero's Sigil. We are moving on to map 8 uh, in the WAD, the final map, Halls of Perdition. This map is actually quite cool. Uh, I really like that we're ending the WAD without an icon of Sid. That alone feels fucking great. Uh, one other thing, I have to do this map from Pistol Start, because thanks to Sidenda, it's not his fault, uh, but he is actually the one who warned me about the end of this map. Uh, the end of the map, there's two bosses. There's a Spider Mastermind and a Cyber Demon, and... Um, if, in, in the compatibility version that I was initially playing with, if you kill one of them, it will end the map right away without being able to get 100% kills, or if there's anything else remaining, it'll just completely trigger the end of the map. So, in order for me to actually 100% the map, I'm actually just using the official WAD, or the regular WAD, rather, as well as um, still using the Buckingham soundtrack. So, I'm going to have to do a change map here. I think it's map 8, yeah. Uh, in order to actually get started. So, it's gonna be an interesting video. I don't have a lot of practice here, but I do have a strategy on how I'm gonna take it from pistol start because I'm not gonna be armed as well as I normally am. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna have my BFG or anything. I'm also getting a ton of lag with this for some reason. I don't know why. I have to do a little bit more troubleshooting with my computer. Definitely dropping frames and I apologize and I don't really know the cause of it. So, let me actually go back to my Doom controls. There we go. This is what we're gonna do here. Grab the chain gun. Actually, I'm gonna shoot that. Open this. Go around here, grab our red key. Immediately, all these lost souls are gonna make their way in. They're gonna start teleporting. So, we have to sort of lure them out. And then we have to be able to run past them, run in here, and then wake everything up. We'll come around here, jump in here. Jump in the teleporter, keep your shotgun out. This is, my aim is gonna be piss poor with this lag, dude. I'm actually a little concerned. Oh, hello, Cacodemon. You flew out. Oh, so did the Lost Souls. Oh, I am in trouble. Oh, and there's the Baron. Let's grab the secret. If you pass that uh, line def there, as if you're about to jump out, there's a secret there, and then there's a secret here. Is the BFG. Oh, am I gonna have to use the BFG now? No, I have a plasma rifle. Ooh, that was lucky. And now I can sort of dance around with everything down here. I haven't grabbed the rocket launcher yet. I'm probably gonna just keep him alive then. Shit, 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 shit. Definitely gonna grab that armor now. Hello, Baron. I think the Berserk Pack might be good to have here. So I got just gonna here. So that way I can do this. Oh, I missed it. I was too worried about opening up that other area. Damn it. <laughs> it's gonna be quite tense. There's a lot of cells around here. Actually, John Romero actually giving you ammo? Hold on, time out, ref. Yeah, careful down there. Just try to run across here. We can run across there and grab our rocket launcher. Don't jump in that teleporter yet unless you're speedrunning. Let's go try to track down the Baron now. Oh, we have a rocket launcher. I don't want him to sneak up on me. There it is. Okay. The Lost Souls, in a way, are super dangerous in this map because you have to be careful with your big weapons. Um, we have one more secret that we can grab up here. Let me go do that now. I'm sorry, I'm just sort of running in circles here. I'm not too familiar with the map. <laughs> okay, so we did that. We have our BFG, so I might just do this now. Why is he dead? He just ate two BFG shots to the face. Okay. And please, nobody post a smart-ass thing about, oh, that's not how the BFG works. I know how the BFG works. Not really, but... 
Um, if we take that, that'll actually, I think that takes us back to the beginning and we don't really, or I'm sorry, not back to the beginning, towards where the end of the map is. Um, sort of around, in the, there's another little cage area that I believe that takes you to. Instead we're gonna come back this way and we have to finish killing everything back here. This is gonna be a few time. There's also a backpack over here. I think it's over there, actually. He took no damage. Where is the backpack? It's around here somewhere. Oh shit, I didn't grab the Berserk pack. That was not doing much damage at all. I have to remember where the backpack is. Oh shit. It's not really too crucial at the moment. But I'm probably gonna need it. I mean, I don't really need much BFG to complete the map. Like, I know I'm bad at the game, but I don't think I'm that bad. <laughs> um, there's a backpack going around somewhere. I'm just gonna grab that now. So that way I can start punching shit. It's not in there. I legit don't remember where the backpack is. I need to start live streaming again. So I can have people in chat help me out because I'm fucking brainless. You know what? 300 will do. I actually don't think there's any more cells anyway. Oh, there's a big pack there. Uh, Alright, let's just go finish off the Lost Souls. I think there's only like two or three of them left. And then, nope, that's everything. Okay. At least for now. I do wish there was an easier way to get back to that teleporter instead of having to backtrack so much. Because chances are you're going to drop down a lot. You're going to have to make this trek quite a few times. And that gap is not short. You can easily miss that. Okay, I'm going to save here. Wish I remembered where that damn backpack was. Someone's going to have to tell me. All right, moment of truth. No, I'm just gonna... Oh, hey, I have a backpack somehow. When the hell did I grab that? Oh, this lag is gonna fucking hurt me. Got him. It's professional. Okay, before we end the map... This is this secret took me so fucking long to find. I had to look up a playthrough for this one because I was legit like, how the fuck do you get over here? You just walk through the cage over here, and this is the secret. The secret is just this little sector here. Like you can see it on the mini map. It's stupid. And then back here is one little pistol guy. Don't know the meaning behind that at all, and I think it's super strange. But that is halls of perdition. I don't know why that invulnerability is there either. I don't know, just nothing makes sense about this map. I haven't really been paying attention to the lore, and I don't know if there was any lore about this. Yeah, that was Hall's Perdition. Like I said before, I'm so glad that we're ending a wad without having to deal with some annoying ass Icon of Sin. I cannot stand Icon of Sin maps. Like, I, there are ones that are better than others, but they are not good Icon of Sin maps. That's my opinion. Um, as for this map, I don't think it was very difficult at all. I think it was a little underwhelming for the end of a wad, especially if you are playing it from the original Doom, you kind of expect it to be a little bit more of an epic map uh, to really kick off the wad leading into Doom 2. So, I don't know, it was, it was a good map. I like playing it. It's really, really short, so I was able to get a couple of runs in as practice, and as you can see, I only did a bitch save once, so... I don't know. I like the map. I really, really like the soundtrack as usual. I don't really have much else to say about it other than it was a little bit underwhelming. So let's read the wall of text here. Baphomet was only doing Satan's bidding by bringing you back to hell. Somehow they didn't understand that you're the reason that they failed in the first place. After mopping up the place with your arsenal, you're ready to face the more advanced demons that were sent to Earth. Lock and load rip and tear so thank you for watching guys but i do have some final thoughts as usual about the wad so stay tuned my final thoughts on the map are actually quite positive contrary to some other popular opinions and my own frustration that may have come out in some of the later maps 
Overall, I'm giving this WAD an 8.5 out of 10. I feel like John Romero really redeemed himself with this map set. I feel like he put a lot of work and playtesting into it, uh, just to make it as bug-free as possible while also balancing the monsters, the ammo, and the health placement. Nothing really felt rushed or half-assed or even flawed, and that's saying a lot because everyone knows how fucking pessimistic I could be about some of the WADs I've played. But I actually enjoyed Sigil much more than I initially expected. I can honestly say I regret not buying the pre-order Deluxe Edition, and I definitely regret saying that I don't trust John Romero's work. Sigil was fantastic in so many ways, and it was the most fun that I've had with a Doom WAD in years. The nostalgia factor in the WAD was definitely a big boost to the WAD score. The fact that the WAD was such a great continuation of the original Doom game released in the 90s made the WAD feel so much less out of place. The fact that Romero created a masterpiece with strictly vanilla textures and original assets, weapons, and monsters just from the original Doom WAD shows off how talented he really is and how he hasn't lost any of his touch over the last 25 years. I feel like the transition between E4M8 and E5M1 would be so solid that you can actually stick this in the original game and not even realize it was a separate WAD entirely, but I mean that in a good way. The map design, the architecture, and the detail really captured the game that we played throughout the 90s, and people fail to realize that that is what Romero was going for. He wasn't out here trying to make the next Ancient Aliens or Eve Eternity. He was going for an as official as legally possible continuation of Doom, and he hit the nail right on the head. The WAD was done very professionally, and I'm sincerely impressed by this glorious map set that I've had the opportunity to play. Do I think that Sigil consisted of some of his best maps? Not really. I still think maps from the first few episodes of the original Doom WAD were some of the greatest I've played. I think that those maps did have more attention to detail in them, and the texture use seemed to make a bit more sense. However, Sigil's maps were far from bad. I pointed out some of the mechanics in maps like E5M7 that, despite having annoying elevators and pits that you can't climb out of, consisted of very advanced scripting and easily traversable layouts. Aside from a couple of the cyber demons, the monster encounters and difficulty were pretty balanced, and I never felt like monsters or the player were at a very unfair advantage. Some of the texture use was weird and unexplained, and I can see people's complaint here. The ram's head on the wall being an exit was just kind of strange and out of place, and same with those eye objects that you need to shoot to uh, to trigger a door or open a wall. These were all assets that were used in the original game for decoration, but used for something completely different in Sigil. It can lead to some confusion, but this goes back to what I mentioned before about Sigil being limited to the original Doom assets. I think that there were better ones to use for these things, but that's all my personal preference. The options were very few and far between, and I think that's all the defense that Romero really needs. People also complained about the lighting, but as you can see with my lighting settings that I've been using in GZ Doom, the WAD was beautiful. I didn't make any adjustments prior to starting the WAD, and uh, I don't really think that my lighting settings were out of the ordinary at all, but I can see this being a struggle with more uh, default vanilla settings. Aside from the maps themselves, Buckethead's background music was phenomenal. I think that every song in this WAD was such a perfect fit for each map, whether that be one of the creepier atmospheric tracks or one of the pikes with the beautiful guitar riffs and loads of emotion. Each song captured the gameplay of the map in the best way possible, and maybe that opinion is biased just since I've been a fan of Buckethead since like 2006, but one thing about Buckethead is that he's got a lot of filler songs that just don't particularly sound good. John really did pick out some of his best to use for this game, and I think that they were perfect fits, especially when looking at something like Map 4, which turned a nightmare of a map into uh, such an unforgettable experience. Another thing to reference about the choice of soundtrack is how fitting a normal bitrate song sounds in the game. One thing that makes Doom so nostalgic is the MIDI background music and the classic sound font instruments that really give you that Doom experience. It's crazy that whenever any person familiar with video games hears a MIDI track, they immediately think of Doom. And even I have tried dooming with normal music playing, and it just doesn't feel the same. For some odd reason, Buckethead's music fits so damn well that it's almost odd. It's like, how did I fail to get the same experience with any music I've tried uh, while dooming, but Romero and Buckethead did it on their first try? It's just mind-blowing to me. I don't really have much else to say about the WAD. Usually I'd go on and on about the cons of the map set and why it didn't get a perfect score, but honestly I can't say much other than what I've already mentioned. 
Some of the mechanics were silly, ledge walking is never really fun, the pits that result in, in inevitable death are a dumb design, some of the texture use was kind of dull and weird and out of place, I guess the lighting is bad with some of the default settings, some monster encounters felt like horse shit, a couple of the maps felt like a chore in some spots, but other than little tedious shit like this, the wad was great and I really hope that we see another Romero wad like this in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, thanks for sticking with me throughout this playthrough even though other YouTubers finished the series in like half the time and were uploading with me simultaneously. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I appreciate everyone who watches my videos and drops a subscription and a comment even if it's about how fucking stupid I am or how I'm mispronouncing a word or how I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. All feedback is very important to me and I try to reflect on every positive or negative comment that I receive. So I just ask that you guys continue doing your thing and sticking with me because you guys are all awesome. I wish I can shout out every one of you guys individually who's been following me throughout the years because I sometimes feel that you guys are the only reason I get up in the morning, so it means a lot. As for the future of my content, as much as I love Doom, I have been having a lot of fun with Path of Exile, and I do want to upload a bit more content for that game too. I've been keeping PoE on the back burner for quite some time, and I've gotten several requests to make more Path of Exile content. I don't plan on abandoning Doom though, I have another WAD that I will be starting very soon, I just plan on doing a bit more hybrid content. I know I'm trying to refrain from adding much about my personal life to my videos, but since this affects my content I figured I'd share it, considering quitting my job and just finding a part time job so that way I can stream and do YouTube stuff full time. Personally I'm just not cut out for a 9 to 5 desk job that I'm currently working and I'd rather be doing something I enjoy even if it doesn't bring me in uh, any consistent income. Just know that if I do it I will have to be fully dedicated to it and I really, really will need you guys support in order to keep myself afloat. A few friends of mine including a few of you guys have actually been pushing me in this direction for quite some time because of how drained and miserable I am at my current job and I think that this is going to be the best path uh, for me. However, it's going to take some careful planning and some more time to think about how I'm going to make it work versus the ifs. YouTube also declined my monetization request on both my music and my gaming channel, so I'm really screwed there. They're claiming that it's because I can't have monetization with two accounts at once, but they also don't allow me to disable it entirely, so it's just sitting in a decline state and I can't do anything about it. So yeah, YouTube isn't going to give me a dime. One of my friends, shout out Dr. Colossus on Twitter, I don't know your YouTube uh, your YouTube account, but I don't know if you've been commenting, but shout out to you because you've been awesome. Uh, he actually recommended things like uh, Patreon and some other recommendations to sort of stay relevant and find my niche and provide some other suggestions to make my content better. And that's the kind of feedback that I need, and that's the shit that's going to get me out of this monotonous corporate hierarchy bullshit and into something that's going to keep me a little bit more mentally sane. So, yeah, anyway, I fucking love you guys. Thanks again, everyone, and I will see y'all next time. Take care.